guys, welcome back to the news, my people. For those saying that Tinibu is intelligent, Tinibu is very strong, he is energetic. <laughs> well, I believe that Nigerians know better. Seriously, let us be objective and frank in all our analysis for those candidates for the elections. We should not be coming out to be misleading the public. And you all know that we are craving for a new and a better and a glorious Nigeria. So we should all come out and uh, say the truth, at least for once in a while. We should speak the truth so that, you know, things will be fine for us in this country. And we should try as much as possible to vote wisely. When I say vote wisely, I mean vote wisely. Vote for those that have solutions to the present Nigerian problems. We should vote for those that have the solutions to our economic, to our social, to our, um, to our security problems. See, we need um, a positive change, not the type of change that was promised in 2015 that brought us you know, to this wilderness. We don't need that kind of change. We need somebody that will bring a positive change. Now, coming back to Tinibu, the APC presidential candidate, he has been going around meeting people, meeting different leaders. And there is one thing I note, you know, in any of his activities, whenever he is giving a speech, whenever he is, you know, giving a speech to the general public, he is always reading from a script. I have noticed that and I begin to wonder, is it that this man does not know what he, he wants to tell the people or is it that he doesn't even have an idea of what he wants to say? Because most times he's always reading the script. If he's being asked a question, it's either he will divert the question to another person or he will just, you know, come up with something that doesn't have head. And I'm wondering... I have seen so many um, presidential uh, candidates who go about in their political campaign rallies in several states, giving their manifestos offhand without even looking at a script because they know what they want to do for their people. So why is Tinibu's own different? However, on today's news report, Osani Rufai reacts after Bola Tinibu met with labor leaders. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Let's quickly hit the news to get full details. The popular Nigerian journalist Osani Rufai, while speaking on channels, pardon, on Arise Television this morning, has reacted after the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Tinibu met with labor leaders. Reacting after the event, Osani Rufai said, One thing has to be said. Good engagement by the APC presidential candidate Bola Admet Tinibu in meeting labor because Labor plays an important role in this country. You can't deny that fact. In addition, Osani Rufai said, but the question is, the concerns raised about the Nigerian workers. How is the presidential candidate of the APC going to create solutions? So how is it going to solve the problems? There are 20.2 million out of school children in Nigeria. So how is it going to solve the problems? You see, these are questions being asked by Osani Rufai, you know, and I believe that if um, Bola Tinibu were to be there when he was asking this question during the Arise TV morning show, I believe he would have read, you know, or read out the solution from a script that has been given to him by God knows who. Because I believe that if somebody is contesting, you know, he or she should have his own personal manifesto. 
he or she should be able to give out what he has for the people without even looking at any, you know, any script. But then it seems as if Tinubu doesn't have nothing to offer Nigeria. He seems he doesn't have any plans or he doesn't have any solutions to Nigerian problems. He's just he just wants to be the president. Maybe that is why he's you know contesting for election. But I believe that if he's somebody that really wants to change our country for the better, he would be able to prefer solutions to you know problems when he's being asked about solutions that can solve our problems in Nigeria. I believe he can be able to come up with one or two, you know, one or two solutions that can help solve Nigerian problems if maybe he's been elected as the president. But then Tinibu has not showed any of that, you know. He will just come up and be reading a manuscript to us. Is that what we want? <laughs> Is that what we really want? However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Hmm. I don't know that somebody who can call himself a living being will come out from this party called APC. We will still have to face to ask the remaining surviving Nigeria to vote for him. I'm a, I'm a very Nigerian and African leader as a whole. Well, I didn't quite catch that. If an elected president... He should give considerable attention to education sectors and huge invest and invest huge resources to address the issues of dropout in our schools. Everyone is allowed to have a meeting with the labor, but that doesn't mean you stand a chance to the people's mind. Mm. Well, Tinibu has no vision. He is only reading what they ask him to read. In the case of out-of-school children, they are mostly from the north. What are, they, what are their state governors doing with their allocations? Hmm. Why are you meeting the labor leader? I thought you said they will labor in vain. Tinibu, everything will soon be crushing on you. The worst that would happen to Nigeria is APC continuation. If anyone cares... There is no way we can continue with them except a different result from what we are seeing now. Tinibu should just go down. Tinibu should just sit down, pardon, and eat his wealth. Ascensors cannot continue to govern this country. It brings a lot of setback to a nation. It is high time we, the electorate, stand together to say no and vote P2B for a better Nigeria, my wonderful people, these are reactions from Nigerians. Well, I'm still saying that um, I believe INEC is doing a better work to make sure that uh, they, they, they make everything, you know, in this election process run smooth. Uh -huh. And with the introduction of their beavers, you know, method of, you know, voting, I really think that um, it will help because, Shame on those politicians who are planning to rig the election this 2023.